Good day, fellow math learners. In this video lesson, we will be unlocking skills that particularly pertain to interpreting the mean and variance of probability distributions and applying the formulas to get the mean, variance, and standard deviation of a discrete random variable that we have learned from the past lessons. It would be best to clear your mind and breathe so that we will have a meaningful understanding of today's topic. Let's start by recalling the formulas. Formula 1 is used to get the mean. Second and third are used to get the variance. And the third formula is used to obtain the standard deviation. Now, keep up with me as we try to guess the formulas for our first activity. You will attempt to answer which formula is to be used for certain situations that I will be flashing on the screen. Situation 1. I am thinking of finding the average number of heads that would appear if I will toss two coins together twice. Which formula should I use? If we analyze closely, we can find certain keywords that will guide us to find the answer. For this example, we have Finding the average. You're getting what I mean, dear learners, right? Using this phrase, we know that the formula to be used is to get the mean. Therefore, formula 1 is the correct answer. Next, situation 2. I went to the grocery store and I noticed that there are 5 different kinds of brown sugar at different prices. Each brand has different probabilities that they will be sold. What formula should I use if I want to determine how the prices vary from the average price